In this video, I am showing you how to do this quick little exploration with oil pastels. For art one, this is will be your media for this next project. For art two, this is giving you the opportunity to just play around with pastels since we won't have a lot of time this year. So you'll have a handout on how to draw some jack-o'-lanterns. You can do pumpkins if Halloween's not your thing, but you will mess with these pastels that'll be in your table groups. Okay, so try it out. It will not hurt you. It'll help you work with this media and it is fun to draw, okay? So I used a white pencil and I can see it. You're gonna have black paper and you also want to include a background. So I've got a horizon line and I have a moon. It's going to be somewhat of a night sky. And I've created space for a shadow with the um, pumpkin there. So I've got light, medium, and dark tones of the color I want to use. I'm going to start in the sky. And I'm showing you that if you have a white piece of paper or a page in your sketchbook, you can take your pastels and clean them off. If they've got a lot of old pastels on them, you know, I don't want any orange on that blue at this moment, so I'm just wiping it off. A wet paper towel is nice to have at your desk to, to keep your hands cleaner and to keep the pastels clean. So I'm just filling in the largest shapes first. Getting used to the pastels, if you've never touched them before, um, you're kind of messy, but you are washable, okay? Please wait till the end of class to really wash your hands. That's why I say to keep that wet paper towel at your desk. So uh, you can make the sky any color you want, but if you want to work with like atmosphere, I'm just kind of going from blues to violets. And layering the pastels, the heavier, the thicker, the more you blend, that more painterly, like oil paint effect you'll get with your pastels. And they just, like I said, when you keep overlapping, they'll get thicker, they'll look cooler. And if you've never tried them before, and you never mess with them again, at least you got to at least once or twice in your time here in Art 1 or 2. <laughs> and I know that these orange uh, pumpkins will really pop with blues and violets in the background. Okay, so just speeding this up, showing you that I'm putting pastels onto the paper. Lots of pastels. Okay, filling in the moon, looking at a reference to an actual moon, okay, where I can see grays and uh, yellows reflected from the sun and the earth. Okay, I've got the stem of the pumpkin mapped in. Now I'm putting kind of a base coat of yellow-orange. And I like to mess around with colors to see how they mix together. So it is kind of yellow, and I'm going to take a little warmer orange here in a moment. And then I'll just start layering colors on top and getting heavier. And then white's really going to need to mess your colors up together and really make a mix. Okay, then filling in the light, imagining a candle's in there or a light is in there to light up that pumpkin. So it's just the opportunity to play with and um, see what these can do. Art 1 is going to do a more in-depth project. Art 2, this just gives you some time to play with this media. Okay, can't wait to see what you do.